Hi guys, so this is going to be not an ordinary video because, uh, well, today's guest of the interview is a pretty famous person I know. So let's start with it. And she is very encouraging for many people and we'll just give her applause like because she is doing a big thing for mankind. So let's welcome Mel. Thank so, you. So today I'm going to take her interview and she can be pretty encouraging for other people as you guys know. She practically runs the NGO. So let's start with it. So how are you ma'am? I'm good, thank you. Why don't you start by introducing yourself? Sure. Uh, hello guys, this is Kasturi Baune. I am the Vice President of our NGO Devta Life Foundation uh, situated in Nagpur, Maharashtra. Oh, thank you. And you know, I am really glad that I'm taking your interview and sitting like right next to you. It's like a big honor. Oh, thank you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> oh, it's mine too, alright. <laughs> um, okay, so, well, let's start with our questions, okay? So, the first question, why did you choose this? You know, out of all the options, uh, you know, available out there in the world, why did you choose this? Sure, so I do get this question a lot uh, considering I've done my master's in Australia and since I returned last year after the pandemic everybody's like why are you into it, why didn't you choose the corporate world? Well I love uh, both of them but uh, having grown into this family uh, where both uh, my mom and dad uh, they are into the social field from a very long time along with their other businesses their political stance and their social work they are very socially inclined so basically I've grown into it and uh, when I was in Australia last year I did a lot of volunteering work there as well during the pandemic so that kind of just stayed with me to come back and continue and I was very fortunate that this platform was available for me my father started this NGO Devta Life Foundation back in 2015 and uh, since then since I was studying I wasn't very much involved back then but now since I'm done with my studies and I'm very much inclined towards the subject I just chose to stay in it and uh, just go with it oh and I'm so happy that I'm growing up to be like you yeah, because you. I like to volunteer too Okay. Yeah, because volunteering is great. I think it gives a lot of opportunities to learn and grow within yourself. So I think I've done that over the years and I just want to continue to do so. Wow, your thoughts are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So now I want to ask you, how can we help children you know, with health care? Sure, so the work that we kind of do is we are associated with the government medical uh, colleges and hospitals in Nagpur and uh, we help the patients there but our age group is 0 to 12 years. So children below the age of 12, we provide them financial aid. So every month a certain amount from our side directly goes into their account to help with their other expenses even though they are... Um, treatment is considered free of cost as it's a government hospital but that's just not enough because they do need other things outside of the hospital to you know um, keep taking care of their children so we do provide them direct financial aid so the best way to support us is of course to donate to any of our causes it's all available online as well as you can come and volunteer with us oh and i just think that many children are are getting your help and they are like growing up to be amazing people and it's because of you yes and our thank foundation <laughs> yes we are really glad we are able to help these children and support their future oh wow what a nice thing so i just want to ask you uh, can you tell me about your blood donation camps in Nagpur and uh, possible other cities? Sure. So uh, <laughs> last year during uh, COVID, we did see a shortage of a lot of things in the world. But one of that was blood. And blood is something which cannot be manufactured. It's only, we receive it only by donating. So uh, every day newspaper, we were reading all these things about the blood shortages and the operations were stopping because of that. So we thought, okay, what can we do about it? Since we 
already work in the healthcare sector and this is related to our field because our cancer children also need blood on daily basis yes. so we thought to step in so we started with nagpur our own city we conducted 25 blood donation camps uh, last year on 15th august at the same time so it was a very huge camp and we got really amazing response apart from that once we were done with nagpur we thought of going state wide so we did a state wide blood donation awareness as well as rally all over maharashtra we started from nagpur we visited all the 36 districts in maharashtra by car and there were like about 20 of us and every district like even P- mumbai pune and we visited every place and encouraged the people there to donate blood oh god you are helping and uh, not just children you are helping the elderly and all oh, it's it's that's all i can think of there's there's no human of any age that didn't receive you know your treatment your free treatment because they like really need it yeah and yeah. because of you were available in uh, like all over maharashtra and it's It's so amazing. Yes, it, thank it's you. It's very help. It's helping people. Yes, it did, and we are glad that our movement uh, camp actually it started as a campaign and turned into a movement. So we are very happy about oh. that. Maybe when I grow up, I can join the movement. Of course, of course. <laughs> so, can you tell me about the Maharashtra Blood Donation Rally's experience of yours? Sure. So, uh, as I just mentioned about the rally, when we were about to start, everyone was really scared because. Uh, n- it was a, it was covid time so uh, everybody was scared for their health but everybody was so powered and encouraged by the intention with which we started this rally of uh, of helping people and more than helping it was about creating awareness about blood donation because even the regular donors couldn't donate during that time so we were helping them create a safe space to uh, do blood donations and also bring along new people <laughs> yeah. and uh, encourage us young people people to come and help in this cause so the experience was pretty good and we did learn a lot from a lot of different people and now we are associated with almost somebody in every city so that really helps us because anybody needs some help we are able to provide them to some level oh gosh i bet i bet you did give an motivational speech to your coworkers you know right <laughs> yeah because i i don't think it was much needed because everyone was kind of self motivated so that really just helped uh, helped us a lot yeah but still you gave yeah, like, <laughs> more than you speak because i know you have that skill in you <laughs> thank you because when talking to you it just you know you can you can notice it Well, I'm really glad. Thank you. Okay, welcome. And and now, can you tell us more about the Devta Seva Sang or the DSS? Sure. So, um, we just created another branch under the umbrella of Devta Life Foundation. It's okay. named as Devta Seva Sang DSS. So, as the name suggests, it's a seva, means a service. So, basically, that part of the organization. provides services to the needy as the vital life foundation provides financial help or other healthcare facilities so the seva part only provides service like for example somebody needs counseling or some parents are uh, senior citizens are live uh, they are staying alone in their houses and their uh, children are maybe outside so we can just get in touch and take care of them or somebody needs like a tiffin in the hospital or that kind of services so it's all about services uh, that part of the organization wow i mean you are really really helping people yes you too. have gotten into it Yes, we try uh, to do our best with the finances in one part and try to pro- provide services from the other part of it. Okay, can you tell us about your other donation camps? You know. Uh, sure so as as i said we mostly work in the healthcare sector so we do blood donation camps throughout the year every day uh, so till now we have almost conducted over 60 blood donation camps which was started just last year so within uh, less than a year we have completed 62 camps other than that we do health checkup camps uh, eye checkup and free uh, spectacle distribution and yeah healthcare related we also did like uh, books donations and umbrella donations to house helps so whatever the need of the r is we try to cater to do that okay nice nice yeah and can you tell us about the future plans or the upcoming events of this foundation 
sure so currently we are uh, you'll soon hear about it probably okay. but currently we are working on this um, campaign where we are doing like ek rupaye ka daan cancer mukt abhiyan that's like the main um, tagline of the campaign where we are encouraging uh, new people to come uh, forward and just donate their one rupee which will help us in the long run to support our cause and this even though it seems like one rupee right now but i'm sure its impact will fold over time and we will be able to reach to more people and anybody who wants to help does have a uh, platform where they can easily donate so that campaign we are currently running and uh, in terms of our future plans uh, we would love to open a cancer care center for, for our out, outstation patients because even though we are in nagpur uh, some most of our patients are from madhya pradesh like the neighboring state so they come here because of the facilities and the government hospital Here. so they have to go back and forth back and forth and with cancer and everything it's really hard so we are looking forward to work somehow to create a center where they can stay for a while uh, so they don't have to like you know uh, run here and there all the time so that's one of the goal future goals and yeah. the upcoming campaign okay wow you're really helping the needy and you know uh, the people who like really need you you're there for them so they can feel a uh, feel what you're doing yeah we that that's what our intention is to be there whenever somebody needs therefore we are trying to like expand our network and build a community where anything arises they can easily contact us come to us therefore even with this upcoming cancer campaign our only goal of course along with crowdfunding is to build a community of like minded people or just just so that people have us in their mind somewhere so that anything happens they can just like contact us and we can help on the problems in the society together wow and you know um how if if one wants to join this foundation or volunteer for you with you how can they we are uh, really looking for some help and some uh, volunteers especially young volunteers we really need them right now so uh, i'm really glad we had this interview today because through your medium i would like to uh, appeal to everyone to come join us you can visit our website devtalifefoundation.org you can have they have all the contact numbers you can just give a call to us you can uh, look for us on instagram and just drop a message there you can even come to our physical office in dharam it just google our name and you will get the information and give us a call and we will get right back to you wow and i know that people you know when they hear your motivational speeches i think they want to run right at you <laughs> well i really hope so <laughs> thank you welcome and if you if you could what would you say to all the young people out there you know to give them a word or two about uh, you know ins- inspire them or motivate them uh, okay so i know you must have already heard this a lot but i do we are not just me but the whole organization does believe in like service to man is service to god so if you would like to do anything uh in the long run i think you can just start by helping the other person around yeah. you so i think we uh, we create act as a medium so if you want to help you can come to us and we can together help these uh, children with cancer who are below the age of 12 and of course the other campaigns that we do with your ideas we can even start a new campaign if you want to work on something if an individual just has an idea okay i want to make a change but how you can just come to us we can discuss it and do so all the youth and everybody i would just say like donate some time not just money but a part of your life your precious time with any organization not just us but any social work and uh, see how uh, how you like it because i'm sure it will definitely give you rewards beyond measure so yeah wow when i asked you for uh, to get you know to give a motivational speech you really did it <laughs> yeah thank you thank you uh, it did motivate the people out there and also me including <laughs> his self and you know i now i'm thinking when i'm when i grow up i'm i'm joining this well thank you i am i hope by then we have a lot more centers or like people and yeah of course of course yeah it grows by then <laughs> well it will definitely grow by that time because <laughs> i know 
I know what you're doing. We like get to people, and they will want to help you and try to, you know, expand all, us, yeah. all, all that you've been doing. Well, that's the that's our intention. So yeah. <laughs> wow. So I know people would have liked this interview because it was very motivational and it had a lot of knowledge information in it. So. Well, I would just like to thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule to have an interview with me. No, it was my pleasure. It was lovely talking to you, Siddhi, and of course, all you people out there. So, yeah, hmm. thank you for giving me this opportunity to be here today. Well, I'm glad too. Yay. <laughs> okay, so for, uh, for my gift to you, just uh, what oh, I can do okay. yet. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. So, Thank bye you. guys. Bye.